I have been obsessed with escapism. Ever since I can remember, knowingly or unknowingly, I have always tried to escape real life. Movies, music, TV, Instagram, YouTube, books, comics, podcasts, none of them actually work. In fact, I hate that I even try. For most people, this is a source of happiness. Honestly, all of their happiness. The problem is, I think it's fake happiness. I never really had a problem with just wasting my time with any of this until I wasted hours playing a video game called Grand Theft Auto. I would spend fake money on fake cars and fake clothing that I wish I had in real life. But I was spending real life time in a fake simulation. I am so sick of wasting a current moment on things to distract my brain from being in the moment. I watch TV or podcasts just so I'm not bored in a particular moment, which I think is a pretty normal response for our monkey brains, just to not wanna be bored. And honestly, I don't think it's the wrong response either. I want my brain to not wanna be bored whenever it can. Being bored is, is annoying. Being bored is wasting time. In fact, I want my brain to tell me to do something else, anything else other than being bored. Instead of picking up my phone, and scrolling through Instagram just to waste time another way, just tricking my brain into getting a slow drip of dopamine, I need to find a way to reprogram my brain so that my first instinct is to pick up and do anything else that might be more productive for myself in the future. Whether it's going and grabbing my guitar, my notebook, my camera, I just want it to be something that isn't going to be a waste of time. Something I'm going to regret years down the line. I want to fix my current state of boredom with something that I'm going to be happy in the future that I did. <sighs> okay, um, hello puppy. I'm going to be trying to figure out um, if it is even possible to do what I'm about to do. I am going elk hunting uh, relatively soon, next month, this month, yeah, next month. Um, and I need to figure out, because I'm backpacking in, I'm not, you know, I'm sleeping, I'm camping in there. I need to figure out basically what I'm going to be eating and sustaining myself with, so I wanted to figure out if... I could just make these, this is not the only thing I'll be eating of course, but I was curious to see the test run, the trial run, to see if this is even possible to cook in my little knockoff jet boil. And uh, because the directions here read that I need uh, a cup and a half of water, half a cup of low fat milk and a tablespoon of margarine, uh, and bring it to a boil and stir it for 12 minutes and let's sit for two minutes. I'm gonna see how easy or fail safe this really is in a jet boil to see if it's possible um, without milk because obviously I'm gonna be backpacking I'm not gonna have that. I'll have water, creek water, but we'll see if that'll work. And I forgot my propane tank. So one quick second. Boom, brought the propane. So, I figured I would have, get this more more immersive, you know what I'm saying? So, let's just have some fun here. Uh, and, you know what, screw it, we don't need the chair. We're gonna be sitting, talking, cooking, all that. So, step one, my friends, is going to be we need to put the stand on this girl here. Also, this is not a jet boil. Um, this is a maple fire. It was, I think, like 20 bucks cheaper, so I figured why not try it, go with her. See how she does. Um, so far, I boiled water in it. That's all I did. And it seems to be pretty decent. I can't complain. Uh, yeah. And then, boom, click that right on in there. Got yourself a stand. Put it down like so. See that? right there and then we then put this girl right here on top um, of the propane spin it on like so and you'll basically hear it when it engages you know oh, smokes and we'll start her 
probably can't see that. So that's like the lowest setting right there, and I think that's off. So I don't think any propane is coming out of that. I'm not really sure. Dangerous, maybe. So this is what we're going to be trying to attempt to make here without milk or margarine. It is creamy pesto, and it's 450 calories for the package. I don't know if I want to dirty up my cooking thing. I don't know if I should boil the water in this and then pour it in here because I, you're not really supposed to cook food inside of this because you'd have to clean it every day. So I'm going to try to, and this is going to be whether I find out I need like an extra, I'm going to try to just pour it back into this, pour, or just pour the boiling water into this and see if that works. So I'm going to go ahead and open this and see what happens here. So that's all we got in there. It's just like a. You see, focus, focus. Just like a pasta, and it smells pretty delightful. Smells pretty darn delightful. Not gonna lie. Not as crunchy as all heck. So, it calls for a cup and a half of water and a half cup of milk. So I'm just going to do two cups of water, maybe a little shy of that. But I'm going to eyeball it and see if that works. I'm not going to lie. Kind of stupid. Kind of retarded. I don't know how much four liters is, but I think maybe two liters. Or two L's. Two. I feel like that's huge. Liters are like, liters are cold. says this holds eight liters. Eight L, what is eight L? I would think that's liters. But I'm gonna try to fill this up. Eyeball two cups perfectly. I'm gonna see if I can do it. Hope that's I hope that's two cups if you could see that Did you just sneeze in my water what the heck? can't be doing that and um, yeah so let's let's go ahead and boil here so I'm gonna spin this right here I spin this and I increase the propane and you should be able to hear it hear it, but is it going to blow up in my face is the real question. I'm going to get it like really roaring so that, because I'm really supposed to have this thing boiling for 12 minutes with the noodles in there, but I don't know if I'll be able to do that because I don't want to pour the noodles and the sauce directly in here because I don't want to have to clean it every time. That, like, that only took a few minutes, I feel like that was pretty, pretty darn good. I guess it's time to give her a try. Oh, it's so scary with this boiling water. Okay, ready here? Oh, son of a gun. Just burnt myself a little. Scared to hold this package because it's probably not like waterproof. We'll see. Oh, let's just, oh my god, oh my god, it's so hot. I'll just let it sit for a while, I guess. Should probably be stirring this. I don't have a utensil, so I'm gonna use a use a stick of runer here. Cooks in 12 minutes. 
That means like, I'm probably gonna set a timer for 12 minutes and see what happens. Maybe it's just, maybe it'll be hot enough to just, to just cook in the bag like that. I hope it is. I'm hoping that this is, this is gonna be my my formula for when I'm backpacking. But we're gonna find out. I'm gonna stir it real quick and then I'll set a timer and come back to it. Look at that steam. Stir it up just a tad. Oh, I broke my stick, my stirring stick. I think we just gotta let it sit, honestly. The water's doing fine. It's gonna be doing its job. All right, Let's see what time it is. Come on, focus on me, girl. There we go. We'll wait 12 minutes. Figured while I wait here, I might as well knock another thing off the to-do list, and that is to do my 15 minutes of guitar with a good old country boy. Let's see how I do here. So, so far, it's been about three, four days I've been practicing guitar now. I, I usually don't ever practice guitar, so this is good just to be able to pick it up doing some pretty basic like reminder things just to get me back in the groove of it. I looked up the easiest songs I could possibly learn to, um, you know, just learning guitar. So I decided I'm just going to start picking songs off that list. The first song and only song that I've been working on is A Horse With No Name by America. And it's just an E chord. And I think this is a D D9 or F sharp 9 or something like that, which is also a pretty easy chord. It's just literally like where, where it's the E, you just move both your fingers up and down one, and you got it. And it's just a, the same two chords, the whole progression. I will say though, chords aren't really that bad. They're not too hard to learn. Um, not bad at all. Once you get like that memory in, in your left hand, it's fine. But the issue for me is I always find the, the, the rhythm of strumming to be the difficult part. I always find that like I can never strum to the correct beat. And like when there's like a, like a, a muted string, that's what, what I guess there's a muted string in the song. That's what I've been seeing. It, I think, makes the song infinitely harder. And and, I, and every time I try to mute a string, it just doesn't seem right, it doesn't sound right, it just messes my beat up, but that's what I have to work on in the next few days to, to, to just fix that, that muted issue as well as that rhythm of like just strumming properly. Ah, needed a little energy today because I was tired and unmotivated, but now look at me. Like it's impressive. Uh, okay, down, down, up, up, or er, down, down, up, down, up, down, four beats, and then down, up, muted, up, down, up, down, up. I think that's the correct. But we'll we'll see how it sounds. Probably not gonna sound good, so I apologize already. grew up that quick so I always find it's super like so much easier to play a song after you've been playing for minutes or hours or whatever so it's never gonna be good the first time you start at anything but just the first time you pick up a guitar every time it's just like oh that sounds bad and then by the end of your session I feel like it's just like a thousand times better than than, than where I started so
I'm gonna try, I find it, it doesn't sound good to me right now. I always find that it's way easier to like listen to the song maybe a few times before you even start playing, which I didn't do today, but also to sing slightly, even if you don't really know the beat or whatever, you know, the lyrics, but just like that beat, that rhythm helps me strum the guitar like so much more. Don't, I don't know if I should get in the habit of cooking in this. But yeah. Um, yeah, so I listened to Horse With No Name. And, uh, yeah, it doesn't sound like what I'm playing, so I'm going to try to, to make it a little bit better. I was looking at all the life There were birds and plants and rocks and things And there was sand and hills and rain La 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 So like my second chord is so bad. On the first, on the first part of the journey, I was looking at all the. On the first part of the journey. Journey. I was looking at all the life. There were plant, there were plants and rocks and birds and things. On the first part of the journey, I was looking at all the life. There were plants and birds and rocks and things. There was sand and hills. First thing I met was a fly with the buzz and this. Why does that sound so garbage, trash, garbage, trash? I was 
looking at all the life. There were plants and birds and rocks and things. And there was sand and hills and rings. Holy itchy bug bites. That's been over 12 minutes. Is it still hard is the real question. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Hold on a second here. I'm gonna take a look at this bad girl here. Can you see that? It's a little... I'm gonna pull some out so you can see. Give me a stick I'll be eating with eating with come on where's the stick here I'll be eating with this stick right here you see that look at that look at that so all right this is actually probably gonna work frame here so the tops are still hard, but wherever where the water was sitting, it's like, honestly, pretty perfect. It's a little watery, don't get me wrong. Probably because, like, you couldn't have milk and butter mix. So I think if I were to do this again, when I do this again, the lesson here is maybe less water. If I use less water, but I also estimated it, so I could have overestimated two cups pretty easily you know you don't really know um, I might go get a fork that's actually pretty good it's not bad I mean it's food it's substance I could survive off of this if I wanted to I'm gonna go get a fork and eat this bad girl And yes, I do have a ton, a boatload of water to drink for the rest of my day today, and it is 5.30, um, and I have not work and worked out today, so I'm gonna run to the gym, try to chug a gallon of water, and maybe go to basketball right after, and then do my Spanish. <coughs> Get out of here. So yeah, I'm gonna hit the gym and I'm doing it now because I was too lazy to wake up this morning early enough to do it. So I'm doing it at 5.50. Um, so it gives me like an hour and 10 minutes to do a, a workout. So we'll see. Probably gonna take it slow, do some like weird stuff. Um, I apologize because I don't bring my camera in there to film because I feel like that's weird. I don't know how like fitness influencers even do that. I just feel like it's awkward and like egotistical to be filming yourself lifting, but I'm going to try to do it with my cell phone just because I don't want to just be like, I'm going to the gym and then not show you that I went to the gym and not show you what I'm doing in the gym. Um, yeah, so see you on my garbage cell phone. All right, so look at this bad girl here. Um, it's pretty good, honestly. It's just like a little soupy, a little watery, but I think that's literally on my end, failure on my end to, to make it, um, you know, just too much water, just make it less soupy. Really not bad. Not bad at all. Just a sh boatload of carbs.
And if you're hiking day in and day out, this is probably not a bad, you know, a lot of energy. 16 grams of protein. Lots of sodium. That's what I expected. A little bit of fat, a little bit of sugars. A lot of Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty decent. It's not, you know, not Michelin star worthy, don't get me wrong here. But but it will keep me alive. I'm hoping to bring you guys with me. Or, you know, you guys, the two people watching this right now. Um, on the trip, hopefully I can, you know, make a daily thing of just elk hunting and, and backpacking. But we'll see. You want to try a spoonful of this? Is it good? It's pretty watery. Yeah. But, but you kind of called it. Yeah. I think I'm good. Alright. Uh, well, just have a bite. Just have a bite. Have a tiny bite. How hot is it? It's not hot at all. I let it sit for 12 minutes. Not awful. Right? Not horrible. But, I mean, then it's again, I could have, I could have, um, just overestimated the water for the two cups, but. I wonder if you got, like, those little half and half, like, milk things that are on the table at, like, uh. Uh-huh. I know what you're talking about. Room. And put it in there? Yeah. I don't know. That'd be kind of worrisome. Probably tastes really bad. It probably tastes bad too. It's not bad. They don't refrigerate those. What'd you say? They don't refrigerate those. Those are just really... Oh, yeah, yeah. Those ones. Yeah. I mean, you'll be so hungry, probably you won't care. It's going to taste good. Yeah. Got to the bottom. It's not mixed up at all. The bottom was just straight, like so much flavoring. Ooh. Oh, really? Wow. Probably should have mixed that up a little bit more. Yeah, you. Know, I can hang out with her out here. Okay. Oh my God! Look at that. Look at it. Why you, why you stop focusing on my face? <laughs> the bottom's the worst part because I didn't I didn't mix it up enough. There must have been like some powder back down there that, because now it's like starting to thicken up a little bit. Wow, that's potent down there. All right, I will say this is probably a success. I could probably do this whenever I want out there then. Oh my God, that's so salty. I'm a huge fan of pesto. It's not bad at all. Um, so yeah. Boom. Got calories on the back. 450. Pretty, pretty decent. Yeah. Could be worse. Definitely could be worse. I'm happy with this. Uh, I'm getting eaten alive by bugs out here. I got. So it is almost bedtime, and I am going to do my 15 minutes of Spanish, but I thought I would talk about how I'm doing and what what I'm doing, I guess. Um, so I've been just continuing through the SoundCloud, uh, basically 
language transfer. Um, and I think I'm on episode five now. I should be listening to episode five, track five. And um, it's just like a, a Spanish, you know, a bilingual person talking to an English speaking person, trying to teach them Spanish. And the way that they're doing it is by asking them questions and associating it the language back to like just typical words that are used in English that can be transferred over pretty easily. Like, um, and I'm going to butcher these because I don't, I mean, it's only been, what, two days or whatever, but like possible, uh, there's like a, a transfer. It's like possible, possible. And if you want to make it like possibly, then you throw, it's like M-E-N-T-E -E on the end of it. And you have to pronounce everything. Uh, all the valves basically the same. It's like there's no accent like there is on English words. Like where you'd say like fatal. Fatal is another one where fatal. It's like the A's are different. Um, in Spanish, you just pronounce the A's the same, the same exact way. Uh, fatal. I think it's fatal, fa, fatal, 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 yeah, I think that's correct, um, probably isn't, probably sounds butchered like all heck, um, but yeah, there's other words like opinion, uh, opinion, uh, opin, opinion, and then if it's like the verbiage, it's like pinar, ar at the end. Um, I have to just go back and do a refresh. Basically, every time I do it, I end up, like, listening to the same track twice, sometimes to the track before, uh, just because it just doesn't sink in, uh, the first time around, at least for me. Um, I also feel like it's not really enough, in my opinion, just sticking to this, this, um, the language transfer, uh, course, just because I feel like I need to be doing, like, more. I, I feel like just listening to people talking and trying to answer your questions that they're, you know, just isn't enough. I think I need to download Duolingo and just do that as like the side. Like I have 10 minutes sitting around instead of playing on my phone, I'll just pick up Duolingo and do that and continue doing the language transfer. Um, and hopefully they just both compound, you know, I can lay them on each other pretty easily. Um, and I hope that's just how it goes. Yo quiero. No, yo quiero. <laughs>